This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander? No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. 
The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He 
He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The Embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone. Behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, Spectres. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. 
and the shadow broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? This is it. The very heart of the Citadel, the pinnacle of galactic power. Kinda makes your head spin if you think about it too much. Signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected.
That's her. Those were Saren's men. Too many lights, too much noise. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have a quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. See why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh view. Hey, Lieutenant, put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on it. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark and have a drink? Let's see where this goes. Maybe later. Suit yourself, Princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of seasick. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian seasick officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Go ask him about that, sweetheart. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. 
What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. <laughs> Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still. I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business. Until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. But my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. 
I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human? I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Smart dog. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage! There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Just like Rex told us, Commander. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. 
Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming. This knows we're coming. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming.
smell that? Fresh blood mixed with stale booze. CSEC always turned a blind eye to what went on in here. I think Fist was paying someone off. <laughs> Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. You're not my concern. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off.
set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. 
I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. 
That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Not even a thank you from the Ambassador. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all this little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage.
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina. She wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. 
Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tessoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am.